It is Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with a speed build, but it's of a room and I haven't done a room build in a while, but today we just got a free new patch for the base game that brought us bunk beds, loft beds and bunk beds. So of course I really wanted to mess around with it and build something and I thought the best thing to do with that, at least to just touch it a little bit, figure it out, uh, play around would be a dorm room and I haven't done a dorm room in a long time and uh, so that's what I'm messing around with here and the thing is we are somewhat limited because the loft beds only have a set amount of swatches because they're built into the top bunk with the ladder and then you can slot any single bed under it so matching things is a little bit difficult so uh, I ended up going with a very strong like pink and purple color scheme in this dorm room and also you right now they only really support placing another single bed underneath it. Uh, however, if you use move objects, you can place a desk over on the right hand side. So like right under the pillow and that will function. But if you place anything bigger under there, it will prevent your sims from being able to go up to the top bunk. Uh, even some of the things I do place here, I'm going to move around a little bit because I made sure to play test this. Uh, so I could make sure your Sims could access all of the places they needed to access because I wanted this to be a functional dorm room. So this ends up actually having three beds in it. We have this loft bed with the desk underneath. And then I also have a bunk bed over on the other side of the room as well. I did shrink down this room so it doesn't fit perfectly in to the space of these dorms, but you can just kind of move the rooms around in the dorm buildings. That's kind of how I like to play. I like to uh, make things fit the way that I'd like them to. You can just kind of pull and drag walls in The Sims 4, which is so convenient. So I made the room a little bit smaller because I think the dorm rooms are massive <laughs> in The Sims 4, just like the apartments. Everything is too big. I feel like every dorm room I've ever been in is like a shoebox. So even this dorm room feels really spacious and it's a lot smaller. It's probably like half the size that it was before. But as you can see, I have two beds now going on or two loft beds. And one of them is a bunk bed where I slotted a bed from Snowy Escape underneath. And I'm trying to figure out if I can put some items under here as well. And they were blocking <laughs> the use of that upper bunk so I did end up having to scale down that trash can and I'm going to be placing a book bag here shortly as well. And that ends up having to be scooched in a little bit. But I just really wanted this room to be colorful and fun and play around with the new bunk beds and of course some of the new swatches of the base game posters that we got because they added new swatches of skin tones for a bunch of the different posters that only had one swatch and everyone was white. Uh, so I'm very glad that they fixed that. And then they also added in some more portraits in general on some of the framed images and oh, the wedding photos that now have various cultures and not just straight people. I love it. I love it so much. It makes me so happy. Uh, I didn't add that in here because this is a dorm room and it didn't feel like something that would be in a dorm. It feels like that's something I'm going to be using in some homes sometime soon. And speaking of which, if you guys have any suggestions on things you would like to see with bunk beds on the channel, please do let me know. I'm planning on spending a ton of time over the next couple of days playing around with bunk beds. I, I feel like probably some sort of tiny homes are going to be in the works for sure. But if you have any specific suggestions, please do let me know. I'm very curious on what you guys would like to see. And I love getting ideas from you and uh, having fun building and stuff. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm also going to be live later today at 6 p.m. Eastern time playing with bunk beds live on Twitch. If you want to join us over there on twitch.tv slash Miss Griffey, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys have been up to so far with the update, what you're planning on building and how you're feeling the way they went about bunk beds this way feels, I suppose. Uh, because right now it's a little bit frustrating that you can't fully put whatever you want under the loft bed. It's very limited to like one tile essentially. 
because I feel like you should be able to use all of that space and it still be usable. Although the patch note said this was just the first iteration, so hopefully sometime in the future you will be able to put anything you want underneath them, but it is a little bit disappointing that we just got them and they're not even functional in the way that I think most of us were hoping they would be, like fully functional. Uh, but I still had fun messing around with them and playing here, and I I'm glad that we just have bunk beds in general. That is fully functional. It's just the loft beds are not entirely, <laughs> depending on what you put under them. But yeah, just cluttering up this desk over here, I wanted to make sure there was like some pens and pencils and books and stuff. I mean, this is a dorm room after all. It's mostly organized. I did put a little bit of clutter around to make it look slightly messy. So I'll be placing some dirty clothes on the floor over by the other bunks in a little bit. But first, just grabbing this chair from Laundry Stuff. I just think it's so cute. I'm using a lot of pink swatches in here. I don't know what it is. I've always not been a huge fan of the color pink, but lately... When I'm building, I think it looks so cute in builds. In real life, I still don't like, I don't go for pink things very often. But when I'm building, I'm just like, look at how cute it is. <laughs> so anyway, this is that book bag. I did have to scooch it in a little bit. Like I said, that and the trash can underneath the uh, loft bed over there were preventing my sim from getting up to the top, top bunk, but it did fix that. And then the same thing with the clothing that I placed under the bed over there. I had to move it up towards the top of the bed, right by the pillow, uh, to make sure that was functional. However, this stuffed animal that I put on the top bunk over here wasn't in the way at all. Your sims can crawl right by it. I thought that that was awesome. Uh, I was really worried that you might not be able to do that. and It would block the sims, but it doesn't. Uh, so I was happy about that. And then just getting some more posters and stuff around. I wanted to make sure that... Each sim that would be in here would have like their own personal stuff. Uh, so just moving around some of the posters, adding some new ones. Most of the things in this dorm room are either base game or Discovering University, but I am using a few posters that are from other packs. Also, one of the beds is from Snowy Escape, but primarily <laughs> this is Discovering University. Uh, and I will have this room up on the gallery if you guys would like to grab it. It'll be under my origin ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y-P-H-I. And all of that information is in the description as well. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this really short and sweet room build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications. So be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody.